Hey, hello there, Scorpio. Welcome to your weekly prediction. This week's prediction covers July 8th to the 14th of 2018. This is a general reading, so please only take what resonates with you. I can answer your more specific questions when you book a reading. Just go ahead and send me an email. Thank you. There are free readings every week. To enter to win, press that notification bell and comment. Then you're automatically entered to win a free reading. I have shuffled, meditated over, and blessed this reading just for you, Scorpio. Your first card, that's the basis of the matter. It's the general atmosphere, or the background of the question. The Eight of Wands. It's the Eight of Wands. Something is happening rapidly. This is movement and action. Sometimes it indicates air travel. Things are so happening so rapidly. It's so busy and exciting. It's a very hopeful period. Positive things are going to unfold. It'll be the end of delay. There's going to be messages and they're going to bring you new knowledge. Sometimes letters of love. But it is reaching a conclusion and approach to that goal. You may be surprised. There's going to be new opportunities. You'll need to act quickly and you'll be good at this multitasking you'll need to do. Some kind of quick results. In the second card, it's the energy crossing over your path. It's the immediate future. It's occurring now. The Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups, going with the flow. Just around the corner, there's a better future. You're moving on. Another travel card. You're finding a new direction. You know what you want and you won't settle for any less. Yes, stay the path. You need to keep going with the flow. It's the drive to do it better. You might be wishing for some time alone. And yes, you're ready to look for better things, Scorpio. Your third card, and this is how it affects you. The Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles. A beautiful card. It's independence from financial concerns. You're feeling accomplished, and you're getting your goals done, and you're feeling secure. You have abundance and you're going to be able to further your career and projects. You're going to enjoy a secure base. You're going to feel that material well-being. You have a well-controlled thoughts and you're having a little solitary enjoyment of the good life. There's love of gardens and home and you're being self-sufficient your fourth card, it's the future outcome. It's the results, the advice, or how to respond. It is the temperance card. It's a major thing. It's a major card of the Rider weight deck. Number 14, temperance. That's having caution to have patience, and that may be difficult. It's moderation in all things. A time of peace is beginning. You'll be tempering and adapting. You will need to compromise instead of battle. So take the middle way. You're going to have victory over doubts and this situation is going to unfold itself. What you have imagined will come to pass. And this is also the card of the zodiac sign Cancer. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck. It's what's unseen. It's the underlying issue. It is the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords, something's keeping you awake at night. Sometimes you wake up with some anxiety and, and you just keep thinking about it and you just can't get back to sleep. But this anxiety, it's, it's really unfounded. 
You need to talk about your problems you bury. Speak up to solve these problems. If you don't, it causes regrets and nightmares. And this suffering, it is in your mind. It's a mental torture. And you can make the required changes for a better future. It could be health worries, or it could have been some kind of ruined plans. But steps should definitely be taken to solve the problem. But you're near the end of this mental ordeal. So stop ignoring your fears. It just leads to insomnia. Thank you so much, Scorpio. Thank you for your wonderful comments and validations and subscribes. I'm extremely grateful. Now remember, what goes around comes around. So keep it positive. Love and light. Bless you.